Alright guys, uh, so yeah, doing, uh, doing a different type of video today, it's not a, a normal pharmacology. I just wanted to do this video because recently I get a lot of people asking uh, what do I do for aim training, uh, how do I practice my aim, things like that. You probably see them in comments, I get messages as well and stuff like that, I get asked on Discord. So I wanted to kind of make this video to show you guys something that you might not be aware of that you can do uh, on planet side to practice your aim in a controlled environment. Uh, I only just found out this found this out recently uh, or within the last month I should say. Uh, I, I've done it like once or twice maybe. It's good if you've uh, had a little break and you, you're coming back on and your aim can be a little bit rusty. Uh, so I've done this a few times, just wanted to show you. So first of all you want to go on to, you want to get to the VR training, basically, to start off with. Now you would think, uh, obvious, obvious, you want to do aim training uh, on VR, you want to be here, shooting at the the NPCs, the models, Enemy but spotted. problem is, obviously, is once you kill them, they disappear, and it can be forever, until they respawn again and it'll be somewhere else. It will not always be in the same zone. Plus, on live, obviously, I'm on disc oh, I'm on the uh, Jaeger right now, so this is empty, of course, but I'm on live, it won't always be empty, there will be some random guys here. You just, you just want to shoot people, be the only one to shoot it, uh, to shoot at them, and just practice snapping from one person to the other. So what you want to do, is, uh, this is courtesy of one of the joke guys. He sent me, or he posted, a, a Imgur album uh, showing this spot on the, the Planet Side 2 official Discord. Uh, join it if you want to learn how to play uh, the game and aim in any way. If you want to group up with people, join the PS2 Discord. And if you want infant, infant mentors such as myself, Destruction, Cross John, uh, Quoted, players like that. Uh, we will post your, you can post your videos there and we can give you some information and stuff like that. Uh, and critique your gameplay and help you out a little bit. So what you want to do is you obviously saw on the map where I put the marker. You want to go down here. So basically you grab a Sunderer. And you head out. Yeah. Head all the way out here. Right, so now that you've made your way out to the waypoint, you want to make sure that it is here, in between this bit here. <coughs> or, just, you'll see it once you get here, but that's it. So you pop down here with the Sunderer, deploy it. And obviously with the beauty of being on VR, you have access to whatever weapons you want, all the attachments, on all the classes. You probably already knew that, but may as well just tell you anyway. So you don't need to pay for cert, you don't need to pay certs, you just like, equip whatever you want. So what you want to do here is you want to kind of be in this general area. So as you can see, you've got all these player models, you've got some there for long range engagements and you've got two back there behind you. I also got one back there if you want to really practice long range. So basically, just stand here, and none of these are actually here. Yeah. So as you see, they die, and they pretty much spawn back immediately. And my recursion overlay is not working, so I don't have my crosshair, so this is actually being extremely painful to try and see this yellow dot that I've got. So yeah. Brilliant place uh, just to kind of snap on different targets, go on the line if you want, learn the TTK of any weapon you want. Just sit here for like an hour, you can sit here for as long as you want. I sat for about an hour the other day, it's really nice just to start jump from head to head, learning your burst fire, learning the TTK on st uh, stationary targets. Uh, Obviously these heavy assaults don't have any overshields on, 
So the TTK varies on live. Of course, you've got then ping uh, to take into consideration as well, which uh, enemy you come across. So it can even increase the TTK quite drastically. Uh, obviously, it depends on the shield that the enemy has got as well. Resist shield, they can mitigate headshot damage, uh, whereas adrenaline shield can't. So even even if like you notice that the enemy has resist shield, you still headshot. Don't think that because it can mitigate the headshot damage means that you shouldn't headshot. It's still the fastest TTK. Uh, it's just one of the differences between the two other shields. So what you can do is just stand here for an hour, shoot at the different targets, learn the TTK for each kind of different range. As you can see from here, so if you wanna throw down... Oh, it's gonna be really hard actually to do this. Let's... So stand, yeah, so 3 meters. So MSWR for example, does 143 damage. If I, uh, well, I'm in the wrong way. Yeah, 143 damage at 10 meters, and then out to it goes down to 112 damage out to 65 meters. This is where your weapon is doing the most damage onto pretty much these three. That one's maybe about 12 meters, but it really at 12 meters there's a negligible difference between 10 meters and 12, obviously. And the damage you know, because it's not dropped off that much. So here, you just want to burst, keep bursting, short bursts. You can see how accurate the rate of the cone of fire is when you're bursting. Obviously, in this sort of situation, you can burst for as short as you want. Sometimes in close range fighting, you don't want to burst. Just shoot maybe, what, 10 rounds in one burst instead of short bursts that you would do at longer ranges. So there, you just do longer re longer bursts. That's if you know that the target of which you're shooting at is of no danger to you. So if you come up behind someone, don't don't bust. Or if you come up beside someone, if you wanna, if you come up behind three guys, you see it sometimes in my videos. You come up behind four guys with a flank, and basically you just wanna shoot at. You want to kill them as fast as possible, with giving them the least amount of time to turn around and to hit you. Plus, obviously with this game, sometimes when you shoot at them, their head flinches, their, their body mo changes, uh, it moves, the animation. So it can fuck up the, head the headshot hitbox, or at least it can fuck up your, uh, your vision of it. Yeah, it's a really good, really fantastic spot uh, that I didn't know existed. Apparently I can't aim today. So you just want to bring a Sunday obviously so that you can change weapons, jump in it every 10 minutes. It respawns after every 20, but just to be sure, you know what I mean. Uh, try out different guns, get the feel of the TTK, the cone of fire, the, re the recoil of each weapon. So you can change out to carve, and this is the wrong sight on the carve, it should be the yellow one for me personally because I hate the, the larger reticles. Practice doing the ADAD. What you need to be able to get your sensitivity right, so that when you ADAD, you're not doing See what I'm doing here? You're not moving your mouse to counter the, the direction of which you're moving in your AD, AD strafe. This is what a lot of Russians do, you'll probably notice in videos if you've ever seen them. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are moving your mouse to counter the direction of which you're strafing. So if you're strafing left, you move your mouse right. If you're strafing right, you move your mouse left. Simple stuff. A lot of people don't don't know the simple stuff, so you need to point it out. Apparently I'm awful at judging the TTK because I keep stop shooting the guys thinking they'll be dead. So 
So yeah, I just wanted to bring this spot to your guys' attention because it's a controlled environment for VR training, but it means that you're in a spot of which not a lot of people will know. So you are free to shoot at all of these targets without any interruptions, but if you come here and there's someone else here doing the same thing, it means they are doing what you are wanting to do as well, they're wanting to improve, so you can just join in with them. Uh, change faction, if you don't want to do that, change to one, uh, one of the other factions, and just uh, test out the weapons. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoy it, see you in the next one.